Hey folks, this is Kalani. We're going to be looking at my favourite bows from World of Warcraft. I've tried to get transmog sets running and I can't quite seem to get them down, so we're going to start with the weapon and go from there. So, we'll start with bows, because I'm kind of partial to bows, personally. We may do guns later, if we fancy a different transmog, but for now, these are my top 10 bows in World of Warcraft. First up at number 10 is Arrow Song. This is from Nexramus in 25 Man. This is a pretty cool bow. I really love the skull on the guard and the shape of it is just so smooth and flowing. And it's got a nice bit of armor on there. Not too bulky, not too fat, but still a hefty bow. At number 9 we have Arathar, the Eye of Flame. This one comes from Phylons and this color is from Normal Mode. So 10 or 25, just Normal Mode. I really like the yellow and orange as opposed to the red, simply because it gives a, a better fire theme, I think, and a lot of the armor is going to use yellows and oranges as opposed to a deep red. So really cool for any fiery themes and just a really nice bow overall. Now this one's a, a little creepy, but I think that adds to its value. This is the Primal Gladiator's Longbow from current gear. This is from your Conquest gear right now. And it's, I mean, just look at it. It's a green and purple spider creepy thing in a bow. That's so weird. It's even got drooling animations for a little bit of acid or ooze or something there. So that's super cool, super freaky, but I think it'd be difficult to make a set around this. Either way, you can definitely freak a few people out. Next up is Avalanche. This comes from Hodia in Ulduar on 10 man normal. This is probably one of my favorite bows from Wrath of the Lich King because of the triangle theme that's going on. I'm not entirely sure what it is about this bow. It looks like it's going to fire a huge massive arrow, almost like from a ballista. But the shape and color is so fantastic that you could probably put this to any blue set. While we're talking about blue bows from Wrath of the Lich King, we need to bring in the Crypt Fiend Slayer. This is from the Lich King in the Halls of Reflection Normal. This bow is probably one of the nicest bows that I can think of. The only issue is that it comes from a really annoying dungeon. I think that's why a lot of people don't know about this bow, because a lot of people didn't do that dungeon back in the day. But if you want a blue dragon theme, this is probably the bow to go to. Moving away from the blues and the cold themes, we have Vashanka, Jaws of the Earth. This is from Madness of Deathwing, that's the last encounter in the Dragon Soul Raid. I'm using the normal coloration because I prefer the yellows and oranges once again for any fiery theme. And this kind of fits really nice. It's a amazing bow, I'll be honest. I love the shape of this bow and it's got the whole Deathwing armor look going on. So if you find anything which can match that armor wise, you're pretty much sorted. I'm happy to say that we also have some Warlords of Draenor bows in here. This one is the Crystalline Branch of the Brackenspore. I'm using the coloration from Heroic, and it comes from Brackenspore, as you might guess, in High Maul. This one is probably one of my favorite bows right now because I'm partial to anything purple, but it's also got a really nice rock and crystal look to it, which is super cool, and I actually had this bow for a long time until I managed to get my gun from Iron Maidens. We're starting to get to the big ones, the very shiny ones. So this one is Themios, the Darkbringer. This comes from Atromedes in Blackwing Descent, and it's probably one of the best dragon-ish bows that I've, I've managed to find. This is super cool. If you can get any fiery red or yellow-orange dragon gear going, this is definitely the bow to have. It's got a huge dragon face guard, which kind of breathes a little bit of fire. Super cool bow. Now this one is going to be incredibly biased because I'm a Blood Elf and I love things which look really Blood Elf. This is the Golden Bow of Quelf, alas. It's from Lady Sacralash in Sunwell Plateau. I can't really say any more about this except the only reason I'm not actively using it in every set is because I can't really find a set which I like which goes really well with it. But it's really Blood Elfish. It's got the nice green crystal look on the outside as well and overall a very nice bow. Now, finally, my number one bow at the moment, which I wish I could use, is the Vengeful Gladiator's Longbow. This is acquired from the Vengeful Gladiator vendor over in Netherstorm for a little bit of honor. It's really easy to get, but sadly it's really hard to match with any gear. But it just looks so fantastic. The blue and purple is like some of my favorite colors. It's glowing amazingly, and it's just a fantastic bow to use. And the best thing about it is that a lot of people don't actually know about this bow, so people ask a lot. Where the hell did you get that bow? It's super shiny. 
And, you know, you can send them on a wild goose chase and eventually you actually tell them that it's from Netherstorm for a little bit of honour, and it really doesn't take any effort to get. But I kind of just wish I could have some sets to go with these weapons. So that's the next thing I'll be working on. So that's my top 10 bows for the moment. Did I miss anything? Is there anything you think that should be on this list which isn't? Is there anything that I potentially may have looked over? Tell me, I really like nice bows, but can you think of any sets which go well with these weapons too? That's some information which might help me in the long run, so any of that down in the comments section below. If you have any questions or queries, down in the comments section below as well. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and